Hi, this is Paul Jackwitz of GiantsExtra.com, and today I want to talk about whether the New York Giants should fire head coach Tom Coughlin or not. Of course, the Giants just got blown out and embarrassed on the road against the Vikings on Sunday night. Um, they have a 6-9 to record, and the interesting thing is it appears he hasn't lost a locker room. You know, a lot of the guys, most of the guys love him. They love him as their coach. Uh, the problem is, let's, this will be their fourth straight year missing the playoffs, uh, not having a winning season. You know, I know a lot of the issues are because of Jerry Reese and, let's face it, his in, inability to um, rebuild on the fly, which teams have to do nowadays in the NFL. You know, really, there's no time. There's no longer a time where you say, okay, a team, they're rebuilding, give them a few years. No, in the NFL now, you have to rebuild on the fly. He's failed at that, especially on the defensive side of the ball. But, you know, honestly, I think it's Tom Coughlin's time to go. You know, and I know he made some crazy decisions this this year against the, in the Jets game, the fourth down decision, but to go for it. And, um, you know, part of that, of course, is the defense. But I think it's just time for a new guy. You know, I just wrote an article today, posted, of course, on Giants Extra, um, that where I said, you know, Tom Coughlin is not a great coach. And I, I really do believe that. I don't think he's great. I think he's good. He's a good coach. But he's not great. The Giants had a couple Super Bowl runs, and, you know, they – they won it all, of course, and, and looked good. You know, they got hot and made not good, two good runs, obviously, to win it all. Um, and then they had a 2008 season, which they were starting out real good. And then, of course, we know what happened. Plaxico Burr shot himself uh, in, the, in the foot or leg or whatever. So, you know, other than that, they've been a pretty mediocre team. We all, you know, we know watching this team over the years, you fans know this, that this team has lost way too many games they should have won, whether it's to a team with a backup quarterback or just just those quote unquote trap games. The Giants love falling into those, and they just are very inconsistent. And I know they got a tough division with the Cowboys and Eagles, but this team has has had way too much talent over the years to be as inconsistent as they are. Now this year, honestly, I had no expectation of them making the playoffs, but I do believe it's time for a new guy in charge. The Giants are loyal. They're very loyal to their head coach and to the guys that they hire, which is great. Because to be honest, I think sometimes teams are too impatient. And look. We saw what happened what would happen when they were loyal with Coughlin in 2007. They won it all. And then they stuck with him in 2011. He wins it all again. You know, even though both times he's on the hot seat. But this time, I think it's time to make a change. Um, while they, they play well for him, uh, I think it's just time for a new coach. Somebody in there that can mix things up and, and change things uh, from the way they're going now. The only problem with that, of course, is Ben McAdoo would likely be let go then. Because whoever the new coach will be will be brought in, will bring in his own staff. And the problem with that is that Eli Manning has looked phenomenal in Ben McAdoo's West Coast offense. He is looking like a Hall of Famer. I know, yes, he threw three interceptions the other night, but every quarterback has bad games. Uh, even Tom Brady had a hard time against the Jets this past weekend. But nonetheless, um, you know, it, 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 do you really want to change your offense? Maybe you go. Maybe you hopefully hire somebody out. Hire somebody that's going to bring in that West Coast style, hopefully to help Eli keep him going in the on a good path here towards the end of his career. But let let me know in the comment section below, should the Giants fire Tom Coughlin?